Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, Geotechnical Engineering Principles and Practices uh, by Donald Picaduto. This is a book that is very used in school. Uh, I remember I took a, my Geotechnical class had this book, this specific book. I never bought the book, I, I got copies or something, I don't remember what I had. But I remember thinking that this book was really good and I kind of regret not getting it when I was in college. But I never got it because it was expensive, it was like 200 bucks or something. Uh, move forward in time, you know, and I got this book around like one year and a half ago, something like that. Now, I don't use it as much for work because I mean, I mostly do structural, but one thing that I really like about this book is you want to know anything about geotech, how they do like bearing or how they do like piles and footings, uh, sometimes labs a little bit. This is a really good basic resource and it's a very well written book. I really like how it explains like all the problems, everything is very well defined, it has really nice samples, examples. It's a great geotechnical book. Now, if you're working on anything geotechnical related, like I don't know, uh, like, yeah, like a company that does like boring, so like peers and stuff like that, this is a really great resource to have. It's, and like the thing like the, the newest version is probably like 150 something like that. Which I mean, if, if you're gonna be using it, it might be worth it. But older editions, like for example, this edition is, let me see. It's like fourth edition, I don't remember. Okay, but the thing is like, this is an old edition. This is an older edition, and this is a used book too. So you can save a lot of money on that. Like, the, like, like I said, the newest edition goes for around 100 and something. This book I got it like for five bucks. And it's a great resource. Like. So that's what I've been doing, like for example, books that I like, I look for older versions and I just get them because a lot of times they just update the problem, they clean some stuff, but the older version they still have like really good information. And for what you want it, like I mean it's still pretty good. Uh, for example here they, they show you how to do spread footings and they talk about, you know, that type of build, type of piers, spread footings with shapes, bearing pressure. This is a really cool book for doing all this type of design and it just gives you like great tools to understand like types of soil and stuff like that and if you're structural you do need that and actually I don't know why I have this book here at my house I should have this book at, at the office because it's a good book and I got it for that um yeah definitely recommend it five six bucks if you get it used on an older edition so I definitely recommend buying this book mm, if you're in this type of field and uh, yeah, if you have a book that, or something that you want me to review, please let me know. And subscribe to my channel, guys.